Hi and welcome to EcoFounder TV. You're here with me, George Gray, and today I'm joined with Michael Lacau. Michael writes at high, highenergy.com and has released a new book, which is How to Choose the Best Solar System and Financing Offer for You. A solar energy book that explains from the perspective of an everyday user, um, and it is a step-by-step -step guide showing people how solar is beneficial for them. Michael is an expert on photovoltaic solar installations, and today Michael is going to share with us some insights on the new technologies in the solar field and some tips for everyday um, users of solar energy. So hi Michael, and thanks for joining us. Uh, hello everyone, I really appreciate the opportunity to, to talk to you about solar, about my book. Yeah, great being here. Awesome, yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Um, so Michael, why don't we start by discussing some of the inspiration behind your book um, and sort of how you came about creating that book there. Uh, I work uh, in the solar development field, in solar project development, and when I started talking about this with my friends and family, they didn't really get what I'm talking about. I, no one understood why I was so excited about solar energy. Right. And then also, uh, when I prepared documents for potential clients explaining them the benefits of solar, I noticed that people basically don't get it. They, they think of solar as a foreign concept, as a high-tech uh, gadget that's good for you know, saving polar bears or for some Greenpeace freaks but they didn't see the actual benefits that they can that they can take from, from solar. So this book is to explain everybody first why solar is so exciting, why is it beneficial for them, and it's a gener general step-by-step -step guide how to calculate if solar works for you and basically how to install your, your system and finance that. Awesome. So it really came about explaining um, to your friends and family first. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's cool. That's cool. Um, in the book, you talk a lot about the, P, the photovoltaic, which is PV, for those who don't know. So the PV industry and how to select different solar providers. Who are the key players in the industry at the moment that you follow? I, I wouldn't like to um, enumerate specific companies because in every country, in every location, there, there, there are different players. But uh, right. in general, what, what you can see today is a trend where instead of offering panels itself or equipment itself, mm -hmm. more and more companies are offering turnkey solutions, including financing. And companies tend to offer a solar energy as a service instead of selling products. So maybe instead of giving the specific names, I would say that uh, use Google search for solar companies in your area right. and I would say ask for reference. Ask for reference every solar company that is proud of what they do and that is viable and in the genuine business will be more than happy to show you their solar installations, their recent sites. They will be happy to give you reference to their satisfied clients. So this is how we go about choosing your, your, your solar installation company. The market is developing really fast and uh, you know I can give you names that in six months right. the situation can be completely different, but let, let, let's stick to that. Okay, great. Well, thank, thank you for sharing that. That's a great tip. Um, so for anyone who is looking to install um, some solar projects, look first at the testimonials um, and like like Michael was saying, that if a company is proud of what they do, they'll show some great references and they'll show testimonials and they'll be really proud of the work they do. So thank you for sharing that. Um, what are some of the biggest challenges that you've found over the years that people face uh, when installing their own 
PV solar projects? You know, for years it was the cost of solar. Right. Uh, it was so expensive that no one even thought it could ever compete with grid electricity. So it was more, you know, eco geek thing or somebody that a government would finance with incentives to help people install solar. So I think, yeah, the, the overcoming the initial capital expenditure was the biggest uh, issue. Right. And now, especially in places like Australia or California, we have so many competitive offers that maybe people get overwhelmed with actually <laughs> selecting their own preferred system provider or their own components that they would want to use. So it's really exciting to, to see this shift happening. This solar is less and less expensive, it's more competitive with the grid. But I would say it's still the, the most uh, significant aspect of installing your system is how would you deal with financing of the system. Right. Because even if you have, if you, if, even if you have cash to buy it, still I would suggest looking around and asking if there are other possibilities to finance the system. Because maybe you can finance it with, you know, with, with your house equity, with mortgage, with, uh, with a PPA, which stands for power purchase agreement, or with a store lease. I think, yeah, because of the initial cost of, of solar, it's still the, the most important factor to focus on. Right, so that's, a, that's something that you've got a lot of background in. Um, and yeah, that, that is something really interesting because most people would assume that cash would be the best and most um, efficient way to purchase or to install a solar project. So it's interesting to find out that there's, that financing projects is not as simple as just paying cash. Yeah, that's that, that, that is correct, uh, as, and especially recently in places. Yeah, I mentioned Australia already. Over there, energy is so expensive that solar is the most cost-efficient solution. Right. So the the question is, um, is it more profitable for you to take cash? buy the system and enjoy totally free energy or maybe it's a better idea to finance the system to a bank loan or to a solar lease and instead of paying monthly utility bills use the same payments to uh, pay off the, the finance so that's actually one of the uh, one of the subjects i focus on in, in my book and i give people step-by-step -step explanation how to calculate that and there are even spreadsheets attached that they can be downloaded from the from my website and they can see for themselves what was the most uh, profitable option. Great, yeah. I noticed that when I read your book is that you had a really good step-by-step -step guide um, so that, like you were saying, it's different in every area, right? You've got different providers and different financial situations. so. I think Absol absolutely. So I think yeah, the, the best uh, information you can get is from your local solar installers because they are the people in the know. It's their business, it's their market to know about all the incentives, all the grid connection requirements, and uh, they're going to do all those calculations for you and they can give you all the information about like what's the paperwork necessary. Uh, but, but still, you, you need to have this basic knowledge, what kind of questions would you ask? And right. The, the process itself uh, of uh, selecting the best possible investment method for you or the best positive possible financing method for you, it's the same across the globe. The currency may change in the prices, but the process logic behind that is, is the same. Right. So it's, your book is really about becoming an educated buyer of solar solar energy for residential users, is that correct? Well, yeah, absolutely. That's the, that's the main purpose of the book, to, you know, it's, it's a very new technology, 
Mm -hmm. And I would expect first time cars became popular and became available to the mass market, there was this information gap between potential customers and companies that manufacture those cars. Mm. So I, I believe that solar will be as common as computers, internet, laptops and cars. Wow. And it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a common knowledge for everybody soon. But still the only option we were offered so far is the grid electricity. People think about electricity, they think about electrical socket and the monthly bill. They they don't know yet that there are many more options how to go about that. So it's bad news for a lot of the um, large providers. <laughs> well, uh, that's terrible news for, for the old, outdated business model, the Correct. utilities uh, exercised. But luckily, in Germany, there are utility companies that actually realized what's going on and they said, you know, we, it's impossible for us to fight the solar revolution. So we're going to join it and even more, we're going to lead it in our country. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting. And while you're on the point there of um, new technologies and moving forward, um, would you mind telling us what some of the new innovations that are coming out of the industry and what can we can expect for the future in solar, um, solar photovoltaics? I think the biggest deal right now and the, the, the highest uh, point of interest for everybody in the industry is the energy storage. Right. Because obviously solar panels generate uh, electricity only when they are exposed to sunlight. They don't produce electricity at night. So because we want to have control over uh, when and how we use the energy, we want to have a means to do doing that. And uh, everybody in the industry is really excited about new advancements in uh, battery storage technology. And for example, companies like Tesla contribute uh, enormously to this revolution because mass production and uh, new Capacity, new capacity of you know, manufacturing large quantities of batteries allow the cost to, to drop. And with lowering the cost of batteries, it becomes a viable economical solution as, as well. And if you are thinking about PV technology, you know, it's almost every day I read news that there is a research facility that increased the efficiency of solar panels. Because right now we are talking about you know, 15, maybe 17 percent for commercially available solar panels, and in the lab, what is achieved right now, I think it's 40 percent. Wow! So you know, it's it, yeah, it's three, almost three times as efficient what is available, and it's exciting to think what's going to happen when those products going to uh, going to come to the market. In, I don't know years time something like that so that's something we can expect for the future is a lot of um, new innovations within well we're hoping that there'll be new innovations within the battery storage um, battery storage situation as well oh absolutely it, it, it's 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 a huge opportunity for everybody in the industry because once you have cost efficient energy storage entire utility energy utility business model is, is useless anymore mm. because you don't need you don't need electric grid at all mm. if only if only there was sunshine at night <laughs> okay well thank you Michael um, and I've learned a lot from um, all about solar energy for the residential users um, and I'm really glad that you shared your insights with us I'm sure a lot of our viewers got a lot out of it today so um, and I, I know for myself I'm really inspired to see how um, I can install some solar energy within my own home
that I'm living at the moment and how I can um, point others in the direction of the work you do because it, it is a really big problem um, because like you say there's an overwhelming overwhelming situation of these new solar companies and for buyers it's really hard to be educated so I think you're doing some really great work there um, if people wanted to find out more about how you can choose the best solar and financing offer for you your book and the work you do how can they find you well first of all there is my website it's highenergypeople.com mm -hmm. high like high hello Energy people all, all together dot com. Yeah, uh, I have a channel on Twitter. It's called High Energy People as well. Awesome. Uh, you can well the book itself. Uh, it's an ebook. It's available on Amazon, so you can read it in a Kindle. Mm, and what else? Do I, I have a group on Facebook uh, about advantages and disadvantages of solar energy. So you can find a lot of information over there. Uh, and this probably, you know, once in a while I, I publish an article or two on Clean Technica, that is the number one website for clean technology. So Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. If you go if you Google high energy people, uh, I'm sure you, you you're gonna find a, a lot of websites that are related to my activities. Okay, of course. And um for people that are viewing this through the Eco Founder blog, you'll see below that we'll post those links there for you so you can keep up to date with Michael's work. So thank you very much for joining us today, Michael. Um, oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. Yep. And if you enjoy what you saw today, make sure to subscribe to the Eco Founder channel below. Thank you for joining us.